You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your YNR two week spoilers. These run from Monday, October 16th, all the way through Friday, October 27th. And there is a lot to unpack. Some of the things I'm really, really interested in in particular have to do with what Victor Newman is doing to his family. It is a lot of fun to watch. All right, let's dig in. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless updates. All right, on Monday the 16th, we are going to have Victor Newman testing Nick Newman much in the same way he just tested Adam and Nate. And of course, those two seem to fail. So Nick is boxing and Victor's talking to him and then they have a drink later. And in the course of all this, Victor tells Nick something about, oh, you know, Victoria, blah, blah, running Newman Media. And Nick's like, "Uh, she's not there anymore. Nikki's running it. And then Victor pretends to think that Sally is still pregnant with Adam's kid And then he walks away, but then Victor stops and looks back and he's watching, watching Nick's wheels turn and he knows he got to him, got to where he wanted. And then Nick later tells Vicky and Nate that he is definitely worried about their dad's state of mind. We're going to have another of these conversations later in the week. Lily finds out that Heather is planning to move back to Genoa City and kind of isn't too happy that Daniel kept it from her. Sally admits to Adam she still has feelings for him and then asks him to go and he does the spoilers call this a painful confession for her and then she cries after he leaves I, basically I think she wants Adam but she wants Adam to be just just a little more like Nate I mean uh, like Nick not like Nate definitely not at all uh, and then we have Nikki getting some insight into who Claire is as a person on Monday Tuesday October 17th Jack Abbott and Billy are going to lay a trap for Tucker I hope they're using that darned little microphoned tree that Tucker saddled them with for a wedding gift because remember Jack took it outside. He didn't want to get rid of it. He wanted to use it against the guy. So maybe that'll work. And speaking of scheming, Audra Charles propositions Kyle Abbott fresh off of giving him a ride in her bed. She asks him to work with her and Tucker. I wonder if Kyle is going to accept to do some info gathering for his dad and Billy. I mean, he's not terribly happy about Billy being at the company, but I just, I don't see Kyle betraying them. But then again, you know, some guys don't think with the the head on their shoulders. They, they, they use the other one a little further south. Phyllis turns the tables on Tucker on Tuesday. She does not want him to have anything to hold over her head, and she is tired of Tucker. Wednesday, October 18th, Diane Jenkins crosses lines. I am super interested to see how this spoiler plays out. I know a lot of you guys think that she is still bad to the bone and could could break bad at any moment. I still don't see it, and this might just be something to do maybe she's plotting to try and get Audra out of Kyle's life you know maybe it's trying to get Summer back into Kyle's life maybe it's just meddling in terms of crossing lines rather than betraying her new husband also midweek Mamie points Nate Hastings in the best direction and Jack gets some advice from his sister Tracy Abbott then we're on to Thursday, October 19th on Young and the Restless, and Daniel catches Lily off guard. She already knows about Heather, so what else is he springing on her? Could this be something that I have in the list of undated spoilers? We'll see in just a moment. Victor steps up his plans. He's going to accelerate what he's doing to torment his family and see who can be trusted. And Phyllis spends time with Daniel, and Nikki slaps Adam with an ultimatum. I am real tired of the way that Nikki is talking to her husband's namesake son and treating her namesake son. She has never been nice to him, not for a second. Of course, Adam has done a lot of bad stuff to people she cares about, but even from the jump, she, I don't think she was ever, ever nice to him. She's like the stereotypical wicked stepmother when it comes to him. And some of that is definitely deserved. I will say that. Friday, October 20th on Young and the Restless, Devon Hamilton is grilling Nate. And I wonder if this is more about 
Mamie. Uh, some of y'all commented that I need to be saying Devon Winters. I've been calling Devon, Devon Hamilton for, you know, a decade that I've been writing soaps. So it's very hard when the soaps pop a name up for me to just change gears. I have that problem on all the soaps. I will try to, to, to do better, but you know, if you get Devon Hamilton, we all know who I'm talking about, right? Also on Friday, Jill Abbott tries to get some dirt to use against Mamie, and Victor is ready to clap back at a rival slash enemy. All right, we have a few undated spoilers for week one. Uh, Daniel tells Danny, his dad, that there's a spare room and he can stay as long as he wants. And Danny asks if that's okay, if it's an extended stay. And then he tells Lily and Phyllis and Daniel that he's thinking about hanging around Genoa City for a while. Nick tells Victoria and Nikki that Victor is fading and it's faster than he imagined it would be. Yeah, it's faster than he thought because Victor's messing with them faster than <laughs> And they thought he could. What's interesting is, you know, Victor admitted this to Nikki, but I don't know if she's just playing along with the kids or if she is kind of not believing Victor and is more believing them. We'll see. Ashley Abbott fights back. Daniel Romilotti keeps a secret and Phyllis makes a decision that brings danger. All right. Now for the two week spoilers, this is for the week of October 23rd through the 27th. Nick Newman stands firm. That could be about Victor. It could be about his split from Sally because Chloe has told Sally go and win him back, but maybe he's going to stay where he's at and just say, don't want to do this. I don't think you love me. Take the time you need. We also have Christine confessing something, and we do know that she was off in Portugal, supposedly putting an end to her marriage to Paul Williams, and she's supposed to come back completely single as a Pringle, and so maybe she's telling Danny that she is divorced. We'll see. Audra tries to entice Kyle, which is funny because she tries to entice him in week one with this bed offer, and then there's this spoiler for the second week, so it's very strange. And then Victor makes a vow, a promise about something, so we'll just have to wait and see what that is. That is all of the two-week spoilers that I have for you guys. Please click subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely click a like if you enjoyed this two-week spoiler presentation. And be sure to drop your comments. What do you think about these little mind games that Victor is playing? Are any of his kids going to give him the benefit of the doubt? Or are they all going to be on board the dad has lost his mind train? And I don't know if he's trying to unite the kids behind a common goal. And that's how he's testing them. Or if he's looking to see who will stab him in the back and who will stay loyal to him. It could go either way because we know Victor's always five moves ahead. Hey, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for talking soaps with me every day. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast. Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.